Hello everybody and welcome back. We are finished with our little short break players already and we are just about in uh, we're just about to get into game one. As we said, I think it's best of five. If you lose, you're out. So it should be a fun and exciting series. Eight, seventh, uh, eighth seed against ninth seed should be a close one to say the least. Yeah, it should be very close here. We're starting out on a hard point, and every time we see a hard point in the Saints, usually dominate, and they're starting off strong getting a grenade kill. But just like that, California State answers right back, limiting almost all the Saints here and getting the point for themselves. Yeah, let's look at the starting lineups here. Are you torn meets Geisy and Dylan for side of California State, St. Clair, Priestley, KB, Nacho Say, and Brandon. Very, very staple four here, but it's a great start for California. Is able to get the lockdown on the first point. The hard point is still in their favor. Saints are struggling to get them out of there. Doing a great job of evading. As Brandon's going to look for shots there. Decides to dive out the window. And slow start here for the Saints. California seems to be getting the better of them. There's a trade coming out from a play on the tournament. The Saints finally get into the site. But still, good trades coming out from California. They're going to give up these final few seconds. But they, can, they take a nice lead in the first hard point. Yeah, California State already making good progress here for the Saints answering right back, but they're not able to hold it for long as there's just blood flying on bo both ends right now as California State is keeping this very competitive right now. The Saints trying to get back in this, trying to get their warm-up done and over with here. As now they're making some good progress here to clean the point, but still, California State is still in control here. Oh, big kill there for just Brandon. Over. Just flips over, Brandon didn't get that kill, that could have been bad for the Saints, but now they've got the ball rolling, KB will get traded out by Iskaisi. There's a flash coming from Aryo, I know if that was the best flash I've ever seen. A big nade takes Notch Slayer and Brandon down to low HBO. Notch Slayer gonna take one down on the Heglish, does get traded out. Now it's gonna be a push coming up from California, they're gonna find some trades. KB is able to find one, Brandon goes down, it's all up to KB in the 1v2. Now the 1v1 onto the point, can't get the kill with the pistol. Dylan gonna be able to pick that one up, so a good um, chunk of time here taken off the board by California, but Saints should be able to tie this game up as we're off to the next hard point. Yeah, they made a lot of good progress here. Now looking for some more here. Are you peeking behind, finding one? And so they're gonna take another one out. Now Saints almost even it all up on that one hard point here. They're just within two points of California State. Now with the next point opening up, so they can get their early pick here. Lock that one down with the trophy system. He's stuck here in the corner. He's trying to get out here. No wall bangs coming through, though. He gets a few kills. And Slaya, no one's going to stop him here. He's oh. going to, and Brandon gets two as well. That's going to be a team wipe. And they have the hard point in control. And now the Saints are going to stretch in the lead right there. A beautiful little kill spree there from the Saints. Getting five in a row, six in a row now as California just can't seem to find an answer. So close to streaks now for Inslay and Brandon. A couple more kills here and there could do it. Brandon does fall, but Inslay has to play for this Pred missile. This could be a game changing uh, ability, but no. Oh, he's gonna get taken down alongside Priestley there as KB will find pick onto one, but the rest of his team is dead. It looks like California will be able to maintain control for a little bit longer here up in this objective. KB goes for a swing, is not able to find it. It looks like California should be able to take the lead here. It's all red in the kill feed. Saints gonna rotate over to this next point, but California definitely doing a good job of keeping up in this one so far. Definitely this match, it can't get any closer so far. It's neck and neck. The points being traded back and forth. And once again, California State University in the lead right here, already taking some on the points here. Now Brandon gonna take one down. They're trying to make it point here, but the coverage here from California is very good, but KB finds one looking for another, doesn't find, quite find it, but Enslea does. And now they have their backs covered as he finds two, and now the Saints have this point locked down. Beautiful kills here coming up from this aces but California are finding the picks on the rotations and they're able to maintain uh, this uh, retakes they're not losing too many points after getting wiped Saints definitely need to string some more kills together here but it's all red in the kill feed the points gonna be back for California State now and St. Clair look to get their way back onto this objective the shots are gonna come out from Priestley he's gonna find his one there should be able to get this garbage time going here Saints looking to get uh, make their way back into this one as four seconds and counting now they're all gonna be only down a 10 points here are you gonna find a pick on a two Priestley a Saints hit again just can't find that opening pick KB will be able to trade that one now stays live on 60 HP a Saints now gonna have control of the side Brandon gonna take down RU Torment's gonna find the trade onto and slay a point not captured by anybody finally someone from California is able to get in there as a nice little 
Shock comes out of there from KB. Brandon, nice little ring around the rose. He will be able to pick up one, but KB does fall. Now Priestley gets onto the objective. Has to be careful. He's on one HP. Are you going to look for the shots around the corner? But Priestley's doing a great job of staying alive here. Finally, Priestley finds out and actually gets out with his life as California going to now rush onto this type of Saints. Have a bit more numbers. That's they're going to fall. Priestley uh -huh. going to fall as well, but KB will pick that one up. One more person on this objective. KB should be able to pick that one up. Can't see it just yet, but somehow California, even after not getting maybe the most skills on that point, will maintain their lead. Yeah, even though this, <laughs> I don't even, I can't even imagine how closer this game could get. California State just barely in the lead right now, but as I'm saying that, the Saints are just within a point of tying it up. And now the new hard point, California gonna go back into the lead here. And now look at this, it's trades back and forth. I can't imagine a closer COD game right now. Brandon finding one, finding two, and now the site is open up. They're moving in, but Torment gets one. Now Brandon gonna get another here. And look at that, the Saints now now looking to tie up the scoreline once again. Saints trying to get back in it. Brandon doing all he can on the objective. Priestley here to help him out. Brandon does fall. Priestley is stunned out. Gonna just try and pre-fire that one, but one too many opponents to take on there. KB finds one, finds the second. Gonna look for the third. Is not able to find that one. And Slayer though comes back to help his team out. Torment's gonna be on the point though. 40 HP able to stay alive. The Saints are gonna keep rushing the numbers in, but for, uh, Dylan gonna be able to stay alive. It looks like California are just finding the right picks at the right time. Priestley gonna get pushed by two. He does take down one. KB shoots one in the back. Does get traded out as well. As as the trades are going in California State's favor, they're going to be able to take the lead and they're going to look to expand it, but Saints have the good spawns going into the next objective. Yeah, the Saints are looking good on this next objective, looking to close this one out, or tie this one up very closely. Now, look at that. They're lining up right here. Can they push through the on one? They can't find the other, and that's going to be KB not finding the second. The trades just keep coming through. The double peaks from California State are just impeccable here. Now they have control the point once again lead just that much further and with how close this game is every point will matter here look at that double kill by Tormin here and I can't imagine how close this one's gonna end up being someone needs to take a lead here and it looks like California is the one to do that it was just I say that Priestley finds two Brandon finds another and that might be the chance to even this one up but Tormin goes in and once again takes one down and right they answer right back California State keeping this very competitive with the Saints I mean, they're doing a good job of finding the right kills at the right time, and Saints just seem to not have an answer. The point's gonna be open for a couple more seconds here, and Saints gonna pick up that garbage time, but it seems like every time California is able to get control of the objective at first, Saints definitely have to work on those rotations just a little bit. Brandon knows there's one thing on the floor here, not gonna be able to find the Priestley. Does find the trade, and KB picks one up, but instead they're gonna get taken down as well. So great job from California so far, but nobody on the point here, but Tormented finding two. That's gonna be a couple crucial picks that this the lead continues to grow for California. Nice shot again there from Torment, who's now on a three speed. This guy's gonna pick one up in the middle as well. Priestley has to find a kill here in the middle. Playing some ring around the rose. He will get taken down. It's all red in the kill feed for quite a while now. Finally, Brandon's gonna be able to pick one up for the side of the Saints. But still, all this time has been taking this whole time for California State. They're gonna put themselves very, very close to taking the map here. Saints just can't seem to get anywhere near this point. They're gonna try and hit from the left door. Priestley's gonna find one. Finally, they're gonna get inside. But Torment on the flank. Gonna find one. Gonna find a second. Now on a six speed. Looking to pick up the seventh kill, won't be able to find it, but still a great hard point hold for the side of California as they have a very, very big lead now. Yeah, that massive lead here with how close this game has been. Now, California State just exploding into the lead here by 50 points, and now the Saints can answer this one right back, try and hold this one for as long as they can. They need to get a long hold just like that to keep this one competitive. There is a kill streak there, and Slay opening up the point here. This guy is going to get one as well, and now. The Saints doing a good job. They've held this one for a while, only 30 points away. This guy's going in, finding two out of nowhere. Now the point flips back over to California State. And still California picking up all the kills as they could be able to get the rest of this time here. 30 seconds. Saints definitely need to contest. It can't just be giving it up as California has a very, very nice setup. And they continue finding kills left and right. Dylan finding two. Torment finding one. As it's going to be California putting themselves very, very close to that 250 mark. You see Saints completely giving up on that one. Have to play basically perfect Call of Duty now for the rest of this map as California is going to be...
20 points away from taking this one, or 30 points, my apologies. Very, very close for them here. St. Clair gonna have full control of this next site, but are you gonna find the opening pick? KB taken down to one HP, but the fact that he stays alive is also crucial, but he does go down in the end. Are you does get straight down, but PC Sky AC on the flank, looking for one. The teammate picks that one up. It's just Plissy on six HP. He does get taken down as well as California. Should be able to get back onto the site. It should be Sky KC on there, but it's all blue, all green in the kill feed. <laughs> They're going to be able to take the lead here, the Saints. They're going to be able to hold on to this one for a while as California keep dropping like flies. They're just dropping one after another here. This might be the point oh, at killstreak. which the Saints might lose a hard point first map, which is the first we've seen in quite a while here. Now California moving in. And Slayer one down, trying to trade things out. He's the last man standing here. He's making his last stand for his team here, taking them all down with KB, but he's going to get he taken down himself. Brandon going to answer right back, though. And now the Saints just trying to get themselves back in this game. They can't afford to give up another point for 20, less than 20 seconds here. They have only 18 seconds yeah. left to spare. And Saints gonna have to be basically perfect, and they're trying to do so so far. But there's gonna be a trade coming out, and Saya does fall, and Dylan actually gonna be able to survive with his life. Yes, Saints have the control here, and finally they're able to string a few kills together. And Saya does fall, but they're gonna get off at the objective for just a second here. Have to stay alive and play with your numbers. Priest, you're gonna be able to find one on the entry. That's a great start for the Saints here on this defense. But the stuns are coming through. Dylan gonna look for a wide swing here. KB in a beautiful position, though. They won't see him coming there, and Saya gonna find one as well as Saints continue to find the kills left and right they're gonna be getting themselves very very close to California who haven't seemed to be able to find a kill in quite a while Saints on a team 11 streak here make it 12 can Brandon find the third yes he does 13 streak here for the Saints as California simply cannot seem to get a kill they're gonna get themselves way back into this one Brandon gonna pick up a one more Saints still playing flawlessly as California just can't seem to find a kill Saints gonna have good spawns for this next objective finally torment gets a kill for his team but brandon gonna have that kill streak that's gonna be a crucial one coming up here as we're down to probably the last hard point yeah one last hard point if the saints can hold this one out till the end they will be in able to win this one here now the points so close to being even up but once again california state getting themselves oh, back in the game the look kills. at that all red in the kill feed they're all going down that's there's a kill, a kill streak. streak as well it's going in here will it find anybody this is going to just stall it out only 10 seconds left doesn't find anybody but that's going to give them some space there and they're continuing to play the defense perfectly here and only 10 seconds left the saints need to get on this point yeah, Saints trying desperately to get back, but California just finding kills left and right. They're going to be able to find Priestley, and it doesn't look like Saints are going to be able to get anywhere near California State with a nice first round victory. Even though Saints try their absolute best to come back there, they got very, very close. But California take the first map as they strike first in the series. And what a crazy turn of events there is the round ending there they just had the perfect setup defensively here on this last point when they retook it but you have to give some props to the saints right there it was almost a landslide victory for california state but they really really brought it back there on that second last hard point able to hold it out the entire time they barely lost anybody it was a massive kill streak they almost clutched it out in the end but california state really was more consistent there without a doubt the saints uh if they play like they played on that second last hard point for the rest of the series, it's going to be going in their favor. But California, if they can keep up their play, we saw a lot of uh, just unanswered kills coming out from California where Saints were just kind of lost and couldn't seem to get anything going. And uh, once Saints kind of recuperated, started playing more as a team, that uh, kind of um, went more in their favor. But we're going to throw it to a very, very quick break. We're going to SND next. So say one of the Saints' weaker game modes, we're going to have to see them come back into this series as they're down 1-0 early.
Welcome back, everybody. We are just about to get into map two. It's going to be search and destroy our saints who are not able to take a first map of University of California has come out, come out swinging. Yeah, that is a little bit unexpected because the saints, I believe, are seated a little bit higher than them. But right now, it looks like California State is just doing amazing so far. And here we are already in search and destroy here. Not the saints' best game mode, but I've... I know they've been practicing and they're trying to clean this up a lot here, so maybe, just maybe, we'll have a competitive game here. Yeah, and the first blood of, this, of the map goes over to tournament. It's going to be a plan coming down for California State very, very early on the Saints. Just have no real uh, pressure here on this A side. One more is going to drop the Saints. Going to be dropping like flies. Going to be Brandon Forrest in the 1v4 here. Going to be going on the flank. The swing comes through. And just like that, a flawless around for California State. Saints can't even pick up one kill. Yeah, that was an amazing round for California State. They took one out of the playbook of the Saints. Just went full on aggression here. And it worked out amazing for them. Taking them all down with precision here. And now, switching sides. We'll get to see what the Saints can do on attack. Usually, I think this map is attacker sided but or I can't quite remember which side it is but I believe it is attacker sided so we'll see how this one shakes out yeah our Saints like to play it a bit slow but usually like to lean towards that B side kind of look for some shots up mid early they have those great AR players so see what they just have to do early KB is gonna get caught throwing out a nade that's not a mistake that we see him make very very often his Saints can be down a member in this second round and now you can see they've kind of slowed down a little bit they're just taking con control of what they already have are you gonna go for a very very aggressive peak there Priestley gonna get the worst of that one but still both players are staying alive the Saints you to make a move as they have one minute to plant the bomb. Yeah, one minute left to make a move here. They're just trying to find a right angle. They need a pick before they can move in because they just don't have the numbers right now. Now, going through this alleyway, they get one, but now he doesn't get the other. It's like Frogger out here waiting for the cars to pass. Now they move back over here. Dang, Brandon finds one. Now it's evened up 3v3. If they can get the plant here, they can turn things around for themselves. This is going to be a very interesting match here with only 35 seconds remaining. Who knows how it's going to end up and Dylan in a dangerous position here on the flank maybe got spotted out there yes he did does get taken down looks like the Saints gonna be trying to get the plan down onto A and it should be able to come through as nobody from side of California can really get anywhere near this one a nade comes out from RU but it's just a little bit too late won't be able to pick up anything as Brandon finds RU on the entry Torment does find one but in this 1v2 it's gonna be very very hard to come back into this one Priestley knows exactly where he is as Brandon is just holding a cross egg glitch here, making sure nothing happens. Brandon does get taken down pretty low, but finds some opposing shots. That's a nice angle there through the tank. Very, very hard to play into as Torment has 20 seconds and ticking. Takes about 7 to 5 seconds to find uh, the defuse. And in the 1v2, it's going to be nearly impossible now. Saints are playing ring around the rosy. Should be able to take this round as Torment is now looking for the kills. But Saints are going to be able to pick that one up and tie it up at one apiece. And not to pat myself on the back, but yeah, this is looking to be attacker sided right here. So, great job from the Saints. They play that one cleanly, especially with losing one from the get go. They managed to play very patiently and then jump in in the last 30 seconds or so, and turn this one around. So now, 1 1. It's all up to California State to keep this ball rolling for them on attack. Yep, they got a very, very strong offensive first round, but just a bit of a weaker second round on defense. So, Let's see if they go for that A push again. Looking for some early picks here is Brandon, but nobody's going to be peeking that just yet. As, uh, actually, a swing comes through from Dylan. He does get taken down pretty low. And KB is going to rush up middle. We'll be able to find one, but does get traded out. A bit of martyrdom there coming out from Dylan. As KB does go down, Nacho Slayer in a beautiful position. Knows that there's a player right around this corner, but actually he's going to opt to back out here. And the nade uh, comes through us. So uh, has to be careful in this corner. Brandon gonna choose to rotate out. And so gonna look for the shots. Not even to find it. Still gonna look for it. Finds it finally. Looks to find the second as Torment not even looking around the corner is gonna go down. Now it's gonna be a 1v3 for Sky KC. He's gonna go down to Brandon a Saint. Stringing a couple rounds together here. Take a 2-1 advantage. Yeah, there we go. The Saints looking to bring this one back in S and D, which is not the best map, but just look at them go here. Any doubts of your s &D are surely cleared here as we're three rounds in. Let's see how this next couple of rounds go. And as Saints on the defense, uh, on the attack now, sorry. 
have to get another round here to really widen this margin. We've seen California can really strike and strike quick. So Saints need to be careful not to lose anyone early as it looks like they're going to be going for an A push of their own. Or B, yeah, B push of their own. So it looks like it's a B push here. Yes. Flashes out, concussions out. Doesn't find much though. Now he's trying to clear this out with a hail fire, fire of bullets here. One is hiding here in the alleyway though. Once again, doesn't find one, but Ari finds one. Priestly gonna take one down. Now it's a 3v3 situation. It's just bullets flying everywhere as Ensler finds another. We're gonna secure this B site behind the tractor here. Here it is. There, the bomb is starting to be planted here. And now California in a 2v3 situation needs to try and turn this one around. That is a very nice angle here. Tries to get the wall bang, doesn't quite get it. Gets him down very, very low. 5 HP. And now the Saints in a very good position. He's regen, but they know where they are. Saints, if they hold this one down perfectly, this round should be in the bag for them. 20 seconds and counting now. Priestley gonna find one. Now it's gonna be 3 1 for Torment. He's able to find one, but it's gonna be so hard here in a 1 2 situation. And plan down and Slayer. Gonna take a couple shots here, but him and Brandon are very, very comfortable on the side. And I saw a shot there comes out. Final kill comes out yet again. A Saint gonna be able to take a 3 1 lead, and looks like they're finally able to pull away from their opposition. And every single time, I think it looks like the Saints are in the lead. Sometimes California State just to find something to clutch it up within them. Yeah, great, great job by them. Now, again, on the defense, the Saints, one on one so far. If they can take this one, this map should be looking very, very favored uh, for them. Let's see what kind of attack California State decides to pull off. Now, they've been kind of stronger when they've gone quickly on that B site. That's kind of been their only round win. And these longer extended round Saints just seem to outplay them left and right as KB. Gonna push up mid, playing very, very aggressively all of a sudden to start off this this map, Dylan gonna take some shots. KB just 1v2 here in the middle, and he's gonna pay for it with his life. Does get taken now. Priestley falls as well. And it's a great start for California as they have the 4v2 advantage. Yeah, the advantage right now, it is a 4v2. I make mean, that 4v1 advantage as Brandon goes down in just a few quick seconds there. Now, California State just one point away from tying this one up. This one very competitive here. California definitely been a bit stronger on the attacking side, so Saints need to be perfect practically on their offense to take this map now. California still putting up a great, great battle, and you know, as we talked about it many, many times, Saints' weakest game mode is definitely the SD, so the fact that they're showing this, uh, this good of a performance to start off means they really, really want to win this series. They, they are trying their absolute hardest as they go again on the attacking side. It looks like it's going to be another slow. Uh, B push from the look of things. They love planting the bomb down the side. Dylan has to be careful not to get too close to that car. It will blow up. But California actually moving up a lot. Torment play, kind of playing in Brandon's spot here, where we love, where he loves playing on the defensive side. But Saints have to be careful here. California pushed up mid, pretty pretty far. Nobody from Saints has even peaked that angle just yet. As Saints kind of willing to play a bit more passively on the attack, but finally California seem to not be pushing their boundaries too far. KB though. Has to be careful here, does open up the door. Sky ZZ, ZZ knows that he's there. KB, if he walks up just a little bit too far here, is gonna get shot, but a beautiful swing for him. Does find some tags, not the kill. The trade does come out from Brandon. As yet another kill comes out for PC. Now Saints have the 3v2 advantage. The 3v2 advantage is in their favor right now, but we've seen it fall apart before. If California State can clutch it up, Bomb still is not down, but now there it is. The plant has been started. Now California State, here's that coming forth. To make their play here. Cleared out B, looking to find an engagement there over on Nacho Slayer here. Are you? He's got double kills before. They find two in the house, and Priestley gets the 1v1, and now it is a 1v3 situation for RU. An impossible task, and with only 25 seconds remaining, he needs to move and move quick. Yeah, RU practically can't win this one. Just hasn't found thing. It's just gonna be sitting up in the house. No real chance of winning uh, this one. Just look for a couple kills on the outside. Maybe maintaining his kill streak could, cruel, could prove to be pivotal later in this map. And if he can get up to seven, get that Hellstorm missile, could be game changing. But he's going to choose to play his life, stay alive. Saints going to take a 4 2 lead as they're just two rounds away from closing out the map. Just two rounds away, but you could easily look at it another way. Oh, I guess, no, two rounds is a lot more closer than California State. I was going to say, they're only four rounds away, but that is quite a large margin to close for California State. So right now, Saints looking very good in this lead, but we've seen California State win on the attack many times before. 
I'm thinking we're going to see them win again. Yeah, it's very possible they do win again as they're going to be pushing up that B site. But it looks like Saints triple stacking on A site still going to find the opening pick. Enslayer taking the aggressive peak does find Dylan as California are kind of stuck in the mud there on this B site. Can't really push up too far because Saints have all those extra members. But they can't really play too defensively because they have a minute to get this bomb down. They're going to be getting the flashes out onto B. Brandon holding down this A site, but nobody is going to be there anytime soon. It's going to be an all-in push here from California as Priestley has to stay alive for a while here. KB going to find one, goes around the corner, almost find the second Torment with a nice little continuous fire there. They are going to be going down to 1 HP, but Torment does go down as well. 3v1 now for the Saints. A bomb is down. Another nearly unwinnable clutch for California. California looking in a very bad position here. Already found out they know where he is. They're all collapsing in on him, making sure he cannot move, just pinning him right down and pinning down this bomb as well. The sky is just trying to find some opening here. He doesn't want to give this up. Every round is going to be crucial here, especially when St. Clair is now on the match point. Yeah, Saints on match point and on the attack so they can control the pace of uh, how this map moves for the rest of the map. They're going to be very, very uh, close to taking this SND as uh, they've played well uh, so far, but still, job is not done. They need to lock in here when it matters most and tie this series up at one apiece. Priestley having a very, very good game for himself, seven and three there. Great, great performance from him so far. Looks like Saints, yet again, gonna choose to attack towards that B site. We're gonna look for some shots early. Dylan gonna play the aggressive head glitch there. Can anyone find the nail on him? KB gonna throw one, not gonna be able to find it there. This guy is also very, very far up there on this A site. Brandon is just playing the passive game here, trying to make the draw some pressure toward him. Are you sitting back there? Torment finds him with a stun and Spreezy goes down early on, but the trade comes out from Saints. Torment gonna just try and run, run in here. KB does fall down. The trade doesn't come out from Enslayer. Brandon gonna go down as well, as now it's a 1v3 for Enslayer. It's gonna be hard to pull off here. Has to find this pick around the corner. Does not find it now. The rest of California State knows exactly where he is. They're gonna rotate over and it's gonna be nearly impossible to reverse it. Yeah. Now with the backs up against the wall, California State squeaks out another win here. Just need to get two or three more here if they want the win. They want to tie it up, three to the win. Aim and plays like that. If they keep this up, they just might be able to do it. Yeah, without a doubt, still match point here on the defense now for the Saints. Uh, we've seen California pick up a couple rounds on attack, so definitely their stronger side here. Uh, let's see what kind of attack they choose to go for here. Bomb is picked up by Sky, Sky, Sky's KC. They begin to look for some really shots. Find the tag on Dylan, but way too far for a kill there. KB does get taken down low. Still nothing there. As it looks like California is actually setting up for a bit of an A push. Brandon overlooking and Slayer there in mid. Does find the shot and piss the first kill onto Dylan. It's a great start for the Saints, but Torment getting pretty good position here up on this A site. The nade comes through from KB. Does bump the car. Gets the proc. Knows that there's an enemy there. Brandon going to throw a nade around that car, but Torment going to be able to stay alive. This is going to be a crucial 1v1 here. Looks like they're going to go for a sneaky plant here onto this A site. Can they get it down. Torment though, gonna get headshot through the car by Brandon Plant. Still not going down, so Saints, 40 seconds and counting. Just need to stall out a bit more time here. KB's gonna be able to find the swing. 4v1 now for the Saints. This should be more than over, and it is. Saints gonna be able to take the map, the 6-3, and tie up the series at one apiece. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Saints doing an amazing job bringing that one back. And just as they were ragging on him, <laughs> being not the best at S&D, they really proved this wrong, he wrong here. They trained, they practiced that one, and they've taken it back at their weakest link here. Yeah, it's a great, great map for the Saints, an important one, and that's going to be a big a swing of momentum going back into their favor. So both teams tied up on one. Now it's a best of three. We're going to have control coming up next. The only time we get to see control in the series, Saints, uh, have a very, very strong on the control game mode. So we're going to see how they can perform. We're going to throw it to a quick, a pr quick break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with map three.
Hello everybody, welcome back. We are just about to get into map 3, St. Clair against the University of California. It's been an exciting one so far. Tied up at 1-1 after the first two maps and control. We only get to see it once in the series, but it's going to be a very, very crucial game mode in the series. Yeah, whoever takes this will take the lead in the series and now being forced to go back to another s &D. Maybe Saints want, they don't want that, but comfortable with that, so not looking too worried about this. I think California State definitely wants this one. More here. Now, already getting progress on the first point. You can tell California State is very hungry for this point, but now two kills going up to the same, so looking pretty good here. Yeah, there's going to be a third going to Enslay. It's just are you on at this point. Nacho Slay goes for the swing, does fall, but the trade comes out from Bandon. Two ticks, though, given over from the Saints very, very early on. Let's see how California chooses to approach the attack. We've seen Saints in this scenario often put a couple members towards that B site, but it looks like Priest is going to be on the flank, finds one, KP finds one as well. Nacho Slayer does it get traded out, but still, every kill is so much better for the defense in this game with Bandon with a beautiful flank. Picks some guys, KC. Is able to stay alive, goes for the second swing, but only realize he has the SMG, will play his life. Priestley does fall in the meantime as Saints doing a good job of holding on for now. Yeah, doing an amazing job at holding this one out here. Now Brandon gonna find one piece of one. Wow. Look at that. All green in the kill field as they get a team wipe. Five kills in a row here for Brandon as Priestley is gonna continue frying California who kind of have fallen apart here. KB gonna find one and look looking like another team wipe from the Saints here. Look at the lives, they're just killing them on cooldown here. KB gonna be able to find one almost. Has to switch his weapons, has to pull the reload, only has four bullets left. Does find a kill with those. It's, it's gonna be another team wipe for the Saints. Last opportunity here for California State. They're gonna be looking to rush in here and say it with a beautiful flash. Picks up one, pick up the second. Switches over to the pistol, does get sent out himself, almost finds the third, but that's going to be the first round, more than likely, going over to the Saints as they're able to kill off the stragglers and very, very easily defend the first point. Yeah, very good defense from St. Clair, but I always think this map is a little bit tough to approach here, so I'm excited to see what the Saints can do to try and get this one out under them. They'll be able to do it, though, because they are seemingly on a hot streak here. Yeah, if you had to predict, do you think they capture the A site first, or maybe they don't go for something crazy and take the B site? I think they go A site first. I think it's the most difficult as it has the most vertical uh, area for the defenders to, to defend from. They could just stand on top of these buildings and shoot you like fish in a barrel here. But if you can manage to capture this first A point, B will come that much more. I look at that, already getting progress on this A site. One tick done. We can find another as Dylan is bringing in on top of the building. They need that vertical coverage here. They find one, we can find another, but look at that. Right before the third tick, they wipe them all out. KB finds one, but that's going to be RU clearing out the site. Extremely close, you can see coming down to the very, very last second there. Saints love sending four members onto that A site and just capping it so, so quickly. Most, most teams don't expect it, but they're going to go for yet another push. Sky, Sky's Casey forced to stay inside here but KB is gonna be able to find a pick there onto Torment. Let's see if Saints can find a couple more picks here. KB able to play the patient games perfectly. Does get taken down. It's gonna be Priestly 1v1 against Dylan here. Dylan though gonna be able to find a lot still. The Saints gonna find the advantage get inside of the site. Maybe one more last ditch effort here coming out from California. Torment can throw out a flash here. RU is gonna be looking like the one to contest here but it does go down. I don't know if they're gonna be able to get onto this point as Saints capture A. Now they all need, they need to do is capture this B site but it looks like California have really start to pick up the kills. Yeah, pick up the kills, winning on the live side, but it's not gonna matter as much as the Saints are making some progress up from B. Gets cleared out by California, though, in due time. It's looking pretty dicey for the Saints. Only 17 lives left, a minute 30 left on the clock. This is not looking great. They can't really find an angle to push in to this B site. Every angle is covered by California State. Yeah, California def definitely looking a lot better on this defensive side. The tra trade does come out there as finally Saints pick up a couple kills in back-to-back -back fashion. They need to get a lot more of those though if they want to get back into this one. Down four kills and nowhere near the site. They need to make up some space. Dylan has a beautiful crossfire. Here's Torment. Going to find a couple. That's going to shut down the Saints push immediately as they're going to be down to only 13 lives. This round looks like it's going in the favor of California so far. So far, the defense is looking good from California, but the attack from the Saints ain't too shabby either. Moving in, getting a trade. That must be what they need to push on through, but that's not going to be the person they want. And now, trade's coming out once again. 
Now a Saint starting to make a push onto the site here. I believe that's going to be Brandon here going for the massive flank, but RU is ready for it, putting out grenades oh. and taking him out with a quick headshot. That's a crucial kill that could just mean the end of the round is Saints wasted so much time just waiting for Brandon to get into the flank. He did successfully, but RU able to get that one out perfectly. Finally, the Saints going to string a few kills together, but KB falls down with 20 seconds left. It's going to be all chaos here, but California can play in the chaos very well. Five kills check now for Torment. Enslayer trying to chase him down desperately, gets stunned up and going to get shot in the back. Torment now going to have, I think, that Predator missile online. KB finds one kill as Saints need to flood into this point, but KB falls. Brandon falls. No response remaining for the Saints with two seconds left. That's going to be the round. California with a very, very dominant defensive hand. Yeah, once again, I have to iterate the defense is just a, that much easier, but still a very competitive half from both sides here. California able to win in and out ultimately, but the Saints, they did capture one point, which is more than California could do on their first round. Yeah, and it might come down to the coin flip fifth round. Whoever can flip that defense could be the winner of this game, but let's see how California decide to attack this one. Well, I was informed last time that it's not a coin flip. Oh. It's whoever has more lives at the end of the oh, tying okay. round. I didn't know that. That's good. So, so it's pretty interesting here. You might want to play a little bit more defensively, a little bit more carefully if you think you're able to tie up that last round. Well, in that state, California is definitely a bit ahead. They got a lot of kills in that defensive round. Saints kind of able to capture quickly. But Brandon is starting off hot. KB going to find one as well. Two ticks of progress do come through, but it's going to be a team wipe for the Saints as KB does a fall down. But still, a great start for California. We saw this uh, last time. Let's see if uh, they maybe can change up their game plan this time. They're going to be going towards the B side. They're going to get inside of that one. The Saints dropping like flies, able to pick up a couple desperate picks that they needed so, so much. But still, a tick captured inside of this B side. And Slayer going to look to push in. Should be able to pick up one, but doesn't find either. He gets shot by two people. Dylan does fall down, but still capturing that B side. That's going to be two ticks going over now. As KB going to fall down. Can Saints get inside of this B side? It doesn't look like they can. California State playing their cards perfectly here. Going to be able to capture that one. All they need now is is one tick on this A side and they have two minutes to do so. And there's a race right now between RU and KB here. They're both dashing to see who can get to the site first. And it looks like it's gonna it? be RU as they cap the site and California State takes the third round here and the lead in the match. That was a beautiful attacking sequence from a California State and in just a matter of seconds, they picked up that B side. I don't think Saints are ready for that one. And then, then you just saw the Saints crumble. California now on a match a point. They're gonna be on this defensive end that they look so good on. And Saints have to be careful here to not drop the map. Now, it seems like the standard playbook here is you wanna try and cap A first as that's the harder site and then go in for B. But the that beautiful time. split push, a little bit more of a gambit worked out perfectly for California State. So now, I'm wondering if St. Clair will try their hand at that. Yeah, let's see what St. Clair do. It looks like they're going to go for a split themselves, sending two members toward that a B side. And only one member here. It's going to be Dylan from California. He realizes there might be a couple too many for him to match. He's going to choose to back up. Brandon falls down first. Saints able to find a couple of trades back, but it's a good start to the defense for California State. But as I say that, KB, all this lonesome here on this B side. You're going to have to see the Saints really put pressure on this B side as Dylan finds a crucial, crucial pick. And KB falls as well. That's going to be their B pressure. Pressure fully relieved as Inslayer finds a ki kill onto RU, but Saints not really on any objective to start off the round. Not really doing too hot here, but now going for that split push once again, making some nice progress over on A while still attacking B right now. See Brandon take out one on B. They have one on both sides here. Now California has to see which side they want to clear out first. It's like oh my. A. But Brandon going crazy there over on B, two or over on B. They're making good progress there. About to get yep. a tick, also a tick on A. Saints doing amazing here, but it gets cleared up by California State as they get a double kill. It's just KB here on this B side. It's going to be the 1v1, and Brandon's, uh, KB still alive, but finally does fall. It looks like California just sending one member. They trust that one member to win the 1v1 on that side, and having that kind of confidence against the Saints is not something we've seen too much this season as California doing a great job of holding on so far. Now it's going to be Saints fully looking to push into this 
A site. Look and see how cornered they are. California have them pinched from all four. Inslee are going to drop early. Are you on this beautiful flank? Oh, wow. Brandon does use that kill streak, but still the rest of his team has fallen apart. Inslee going go around this corner. Finally finds a pick for the Saints, and that should give them a little bit of space to work with. But are you in such a great position? Picks up his fifth. Going to drop down there. Not going to find the sixth, though. KB finds that one as now Saints have a bit of room to work with. Sky KC doesn't pick up Priest. He gives away his position. But there's the kill streak coming out from Torment. KB going to find the trade, but KB goes down himself. And so they're going to find that second tick on the EA site. Let's see if California decides to overcommit if they choose to maybe give it up and play the lives that they're winning on so far. They're going to look to go for the defense here. Torment going to get in there. Does drop down, stays alive. Priestly not going to find the trade immediately, but KB finds a double as Sky C is going to find Priestly. Sky C, KC going to fall down. KB finding the fourth. That should be the cap going over to the Saints. That's going to be only the B side to fight for now. Yeah, now the cap goes out. That gives them another minute to spare here. Now they're not down to the wire, but it's still just a minute left. KB and Brandon getting two kills. Now we're going to go back over to California State getting kills. Well, Sky's going to move in, try and get in the defensive position here. But Priestley is going to be huddled in there, already making progress over on beating the doors, but the open doesn't get it. Now this duel happening here. Who's going to win this one? Oh, it's going to be Priestley huge. getting the kill through the wall. Now Sky's going to get one back. KB getting another right back. This is insanity. The trades are coming out in droves. I mean, it's just green and red, green and red. And now look at that. Priestley. Getting another kill right here. It's looking like a Christmas tree with how much green and red there is on the screen right now. Yeah, trades everywhere. Are you not going to find that one? Saints should be able to get this one. They're in a beautiful position here, and it's all green in the kill feed. It's going to get contested last second here, but Priestley going to find one. Dylan going to drop as well, and just like that, Saints going to win their second attacking round as well here, as it's going to be a 2-2 game. I don't know who has more lives. Uh, who, who do you think Who do you is going to have the defensive side in this last I round? I think it's going to go over to California State, but... With how things have been going, I don't even know if that's a good thing. Both <laughs> of the last two attacking rounds we've seen have just been that dominant yeah. there. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what the case is going to be. We are going into the fifth and final control point of the map as we're loading in. It looks like... Don't think we can tell from this screen. Yeah, not just yet. We'll see once we can see in game. Now we here. see it. It's going to be it's, okay, Saints on the defense, California on the attack, actually. So, not what we expected here, but let's see how they decide to play it. They're going to get onto this A site, get on there quickly. Three members on there to be exact. They're going to be capturing a first take very early on. Saints looking to pinch from behind. Ninslea on a massive, massive flank here. Has to go crazy, but by the time he's able to get around and behind, he's. Couple teammates gonna drop, but still, Brandon Inslee are gonna get in from behind Torment, somehow letting that happen as he watches the rest of his team drop like flies. Yeah, now they're going for a weird split push here once again, trying to fake out the B. But they're really going to send two over the A. They're doing sending two and two right now, trying to cap out this A while still putting pressure on B, trying to split the Saints right now gonna work here but the trades are coming out it's not working perfectly right now there's some progress over oh. on a will the saints just straight up abandon that yeah. for b there's a lot of questions happening right now kills are going back and forth right oh. now now brandon goes in gets the trade but that's not going to be good enough as the point gets cleared out for california state and now they have a whole two minutes here to cap this b point but this is the most stable the game condition has been for the defense of the saints in a while they have all of their members they all have the setup but you have to look at skies kc a massive massive flank here in the spawn of the Saints and if he can pick up Brandon here on this flank watch that's going to be really what pushes California in the right position but now you're going to see a couple picks come out from the Saints still going to be the commit coming out from Sky's KC as all of California are going to drop that's going to be a lot of time wasted off the clock as they're going to have another push to look for but Torment's going to stagger out there Dylan does find a trade but still looking very good for the Saints here on the defense looking very very good for the Saints though skies finds an opening here finds another trades just coming at on the entire screen right now with one minute left california state has burned half their time with zero progress saints doing an amazing job at defense right now yeah, Saints really put on the clinic here in this fifth and decisive round. They're getting picks left and right as they're finally beginning to outgun California State. It's going to be just RU here, but even staying in here and just staggering your death is that good. Brandon going to be able to take uh, go down there and Slayer does find the traders now. California going to look to rush into the side. Dylan able to pick up one. Could that be the little entry they needed? Dylan going to find a couple. KB should get traded out as well. It's going to be just Brandon spraying and praying here. Does pick up one. Going to look to get inside of this site. Does see one peek. The window will get taken 
taken down as finally California have a bit of agency on this B side. This is going to be the last little gunfight we probably see in this map. Are you going to find KB as Saints struggling to get back into this one? Priestley going to drop as well. California now going to pick up a second tick as Enslayer falls as well. One final rush here from the Saints. Torment going to be able to find one. Brandon does find one onto RU, but that's going to be the map going over to California as they go up 2-1 in the series. 2-1 in the series. And now Saints, the backs are up against the wall. They have another respawn game mode ahead, I believe. So hard points. Maybe gonna get some hard point redemption here in the next game. We might be going to a game five at this point. Yeah, I mean, it seems like California's really picked it up a notch here in these uh, respawn game modes. Not something we expected, and we definitely expected the Saints to be on the strongest side of that one. But they're gonna have to prove that they are the kings of respawn. We're gonna be coming up into hard point, so we're gonna throw it to a quick quick break but don't go anywhere this series is exciting yeah. might go all five maps we'll be right back in just a second
Hello everybody, welcome back, and we are just on the way in map for you. St. Kilda Coach against California State. It's gonna be hard point. California on match point. They were able to take the first hard point, able to take the control just a few moments ago, but it looks like Saints is gonna be starting off hot here in this hard point, getting the first few picks, as they need to win this map to send to a decider to map five. Need to win this map, their backs up against the wall, and they're usually just so clean on hardpoint. But as you can see, this is already so competitive, just a few points away from each other right now. Flipping back and forth, California State though, just taking that so slight lead right now, and every point is gonna matter here as it's so so thick and close. Without a doubt, but uh, it looks like California is getting the better off the Saints here on this first hardpoint. They're gonna grow their lead to quite a big one, but if KB didn't find that pick, it would have been a massive lead. Still, KB finding that pick so so crucial. Now, Saints kind of swarming. This next objective, are you going to pick up and slay in the middle of that whole team? As it's going to be a challenge on the point here. Still some garbage time points picked up for the Saints, but they're going to be down 13 going to the second one. It's going to be California in full control of this one. No one's taking this hard point though, right? It's going to be California here getting the first control here getting into the lead even further right now. But the trades come out once again, but they're just making sure to hide one guy sneakily on the point so it doesn't go down. Oh. The scenes that they want run through. Look at that. Are you so clean with it? Brandon now gonna look for an angle, but the great, great defense there from California. They get the stop on the offense. Uh, on the first push, Skies KC does fall down, but still, since Saints are dropping so far back on the map, it allows California to kind of just sit on this point and capture it until it goes up down. And finally, should be a kill coming down as Trey comes out from Torment. Gonna find a second. Nice shots for him. That's gonna be practically this whole point. Go over to California State as they're looking very, very good in the clutch here. Finding kills left and right against the Saints. Yeah, no, oh, I think a whole point, a little bit, went over to California State relatively uncontested. But now, yeah. Saints playing for this next hard point, already getting some progress here. It's up to California to get in on it. It's a great, great spawn for the Saints as they finally pick up these crucial, crucial kills. And now you're going to see the score heavily flip back in the way of the Saints. They could even take the lead on this one if they find one more clean team fight. Crazy looking up mid, finding some nice shots, but Skies KC will find the opening pick. Still, KB going to find the trade. Tournament going to pick that one up, but good spawns are in the favor of the Saints. As going to take him down to one HP there. Brandon not able to find it. Skies KC actually going to move up and pick that one up. Still, no progress made for California. Up the map here, Saints doing a great job of holding on in this bottom corner. As, as this map is going to be back and forth to say the least. Kills coming through for the Saints here. A nice little four kill spree for the Saints as they're going to be able to get every single second of this hard point. Now we're going to see California try and replicate it on the other side of the map. Yeah, now California trying to get themselves back in the lead very soon with this next point. They've just given up that one. They know it's going to go the Saints' way, but they're, they're already set up for this next one there. And so they're finding one trying to break the break through the defense right now and they're looking to manage to do so they found two kills it's going to flip back over to them and now california state in the lead just has to play the defense just a little bit longer as you can tell these matches are getting so close we saw the last hard point map go crazy there in the end so we might see that again brandon finding one piece of finding another he's going to find one up top they do are you going to get one but and so they're going to clear that one out now they're on the site saints looking to even this one up now, KB gonna find another here. It's just all chaos here, but it's in the Saints' favor as they're just finding these insane picks. And Saints should be able to take the lead on this hard point as California kind of just fell apart. We're not able to play the defense cleanly. A couple kills will come through for them, but you can see Saints already rotating over to the next point. They're gonna have one more member there cleaning up the garbage time, but it looks like a bit of an overcommit from California as Saints gonna be up around the 10 points after this one, but a great, great start on their rotations for California State. Nice little turn there from Skies KC picks that one up. The new hard point will be taken by California. Let's see how long they can hold this one for Tor the Torment and gonna find one. Brandon does find the trade onto Skies KC, but still the objective is taken by California as they take the lead yet again. They're gonna take the lead right here. But it's not gonna be a very big lead as the Saints already get two. Looking to clear the site now. Gonna find third. And now are you gonna try and just play the defense here? He's last man standing for his team, but the Saints are moving in quick. But Dylan gets the trade once again. And now no one's on this point as it's such a risky point. You need to really get in there to get the points here. And as you can tell, it's just trades. Everybody clamoring for this point. It's gonna go over to the Saints. And now California just trying to get some way in here to get the Saints off of this. But the trophy system now, there's no gonna be no easy way to do that. 
Yeah, I mean, this map, it looks like the trades are going slightly in the way, favor of the Saints. In the first hard point, it was that maybe one or two kills that might have flipped the whole map on its head. And that one looks to be going in the favor of the Saints. So they're going to take a nice little 11 point lead, but it's going to be hard to control this next hard point. Looks like California going to get in there early. Still no kills taken out here. Priestley should be able to find the first one. Does take it down. Are you, though? Going to pick up a double kill across the map. As Sky's KC going to find a third, and Priestley goes down. So it's a great, great start here for California. Are you in a dangerous position, but doesn't find one? Inslee are going to pick that one up, keeps KB alive as the counter push now comes out from the side of St. Clair College. It's only Dylan on this point, so that's all Saints need to find. But Skies KC, beautiful grenade there onto Brandon. Dylan finally does fall. Inslee are going to be able to pick up RU as well. Saints going to take control of this hard point yet again, as it looks like this game is going to be very flip floppy. Going to flip flop back and forth like we saw in the first hard point game. These teams are so evenly matched nice. here, but right now it looks like the Saints are just in their element. I've seen more coordinated team wipes on their side, so I think they're looking to take this one, but they're not able to flip the point off just yet. Is California State going to eat this one all the way up to the end? And now, oh, two of them kill. go down. They're trying to rotate for next, and they just oh, might not be kill. able to do it as it's going in Saints' favor. The fact that Brandon's able to find a couple kills there and stay alive is going to be such a problem to deal with now for California. Every kill he gets here in this position just slows down their push uh, drastically as Insley are going to be helping him out here, picking up Dylan Saints with a beautiful start to the defense of this hard points. All green in the kill feed. That's five kill sprees for both KB and Brandon. As Brandon going to uh, KB going to pick up a six now. One off those streaks. Insley does fall. Brandon now on the six kill spree as well. As both members should be very very close to that predator missile. They both have it, I believe, KB and Brandon. So that is a huge huge favor that they have if they ever need to call it in. If they need to just wipe a point, it's going to be going in their favor. Brandon and Slayer finding a couple picks. Saints finally seem to have found their groove as they take a huge lead in this hard point. Now we're talking about the next point. Maybe you <laughs> might need a board wipe, but I don't even think the Saints will need it at this point. They are just in their element now. They've stretched to a massive 40 point lead here. Now, California needs to answer it with a big hold of their own right here, right now. If it goes over the Saints once again, like it looks like it's going to, this might be it. This might be the game very soon, as we're seeing just a massive amount of points flood over them. The kills are all going their way. Sure, there's trades here and there, but nothing to shake up the control of this hard point. Yeah, Brandon's still on a nine spree. Just can't seem to fall down. It looks like he's gonna be still staying alive, looking from above the point here. Can he find the entry frag? Yes, he will. Nice little flank position from here. Looking to play his life. Finds a second Brandon. 11 kill streak there for him, which sets up his team for the retake. But it looks like California do secure the good spawn, so they should be able to get the rest of this one, but you could see that Brandon is setting up alongside his team for the next hardpoint. Priestley finding a nice kill there. Not going to give them too much room to work with, though, but it's going to stay there and make sure that California can't just rotate out for free of Saints. Going to have control of the next hardpoint. Yeah, now it looks like it's going to be Dylan, the, the frontliner soldier, being taken out by Enslay there. Now, California State, really bad spawns for this next hardpoint. Just halfway across the map, the Saints are definitely going to get at least 20 points here until California is able to even see them. Now as we look back over, the Saints are going to go down here, but the point is just so out there in the open. The Saints have so much coverage here. They're just playing the defense now, saying, hey, California, come take this point, but they're not going to as Gorman goes down and Ensley is going to take out KB in a miss. Missed opportunity team kill. They're just so blood hungry here. They're going after their own team at this point. And the Saints not opting to go on this point because it's a little bit too risky. California, though, needs the points desperately. So they put one down. They're going to get... Oh, the, they're going to get the rest of this. Get the rest of this point, as you said here. And Sky going to go on the hunt here as KB is trying to chase him down as well. Ten more seconds to hold this point. And now California was a, has made a big comeback on this point. Yeah, without a doubt, only 15 points behind. This could be the last hard point. It's all on Nacho Slayer here in the 1v2. Can he pick up one? Yes, he does. That's a crucial, crucial pick as on the other side of the map, Tournament's going to go down as well. Now we're going to see a full-on 5v5. There goes a kill streak. Not going to find anything. And Brandon falls down, but Priestley going to pick up RU. On the point here are the Saints. They're 15 
25 points away from winning this map. And Slayer going to look to turn on one. Does get taken down by an 8. Crazy going to find the trade there. KB going to look to push into the site. Find one to Tormentors. Brandon finds Dylan's only are you alive here for the side of California. And he's going to have to wait here. He can't go too quickly. Saints going to put themselves in a very, very good position to win out this map. Priestley going to be looked at by RU. And the California have to rush into the site. Priestley goes down. Brandon goes down. And it's going to be control back for California. But they cannot take the lead here. Need to stay on this one. A Saint going to look to close the map out here. Now they're not going to be able to. Not going to be enough time. Are you on this point? Going to find a couple alongside Dylan. These last seconds should go over to California. But wow. a double kill from Brandon with that kill streak. Thorman going to find the trade. It's going to be coming down to one final hard point here. Looks like both teams going to be rotating over. Only Brandon near that hard point as Dylan is causing havoc here. But Brandon going to find one. Inslayer finds one as well. As Sky is KC going to find a trade. KB has to go massive on this flank here. Should be able to pick up one. But no, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Inslayer going to go down as California finally get control of the site. KB behind. He needs to go quickly as his teammates are quickly dropping. 72 HP now on KB. Looking for something. Shoots once. Doesn't get spotted out. Still very, very close to going down. He's going to push in. Almost finds one. A team kill comes out from California. Doesn't find a couple. But Saints need to get to this objective quickly. 30, 230 and counting. Just 20 points away as we're going to be tied up for the first time since it's been 0 0. Inslayer going to look for an entry frag. Going to be able to find it. Priestley finds it as well. Are you going to find the trade though? KB picks up. Are you as Saints get back onto the site? But one more member alive. Still, Saints have enough time to close this one out. California gonna have to throw bodies at this objective. Are they gonna be able to get there in time? One pick comes through, the trade comes out. 245 now. Can the Saints close out the map? California is gonna be able to get on there for just one second. And we're gonna be going to the next hard point here. Saints looking to have control of that one. It does flip over and time has started ticking. But all red in the kill feed. California looking to come back into this one. It's gonna be just Nacho Slayer here. Has to find this one on one. Is gonna be able to pick that one up. That could just save the game for the Saints as it's all California inside of here. Can Nacho Slayer do more here? No, he does go down, but the rest of the Saints are going to be here coming back. Still, it's all red in the kill feed. KB going to be on the flank, on the high ground. Picks up one, picks up a second. Priestley going to drop down, pick up a third, and that's going to be the map going over to the Saints as the entire <laughs> series at two apiece. What a way to end that hard point. The Saints buying their hard point redemption here. Win the points, but only by, I think it was like five four. points? Four, four points. Insane way to end this one. Both teams so competitive with each other. What a game from both teams. Beautiful, beautiful map there. And we're going to be going to a decisive search and destroy Saints. We're able to come out on top in the first one, but now we're going to see everything each team has. Everything they have in the book is going to be thrown into this one, so it should be an exciting map. Exactly. This is looking very exciting. The Saints found their hard point redemption, but will California find their search and destroy redemption now. Hey. You're thinking they were going to be good at that, but it didn't quite work out. But on paper, it, it's looking like the Saints should win this one, but it's so close. <laughs> it's all up in the air, Theo. What do you think? I mean, I think it's going to be an amazing map five, and we're going to find out shortly. We're going to go through to a quick break, but don't go anywhere. Map five coming up right after this.
Welcome back everybody, we are just about to get into the fifth and decisive map of this series, St. Clair Saints, taking on California State University. It's been a very, very close match so far, Saints won winning the fourth hard point by just four points, an absolute blast of a series to watch, but it's all going to be decided in these final six rounds. Or yeah, like just, oh, yeah, the final round. We're here in the fifth round. It's going to be back in S and D, potentially six rounds, but that would be a sweep at that point. So I think it's going to go a little bit further than that with how close these games have been. You know, St. Clair, definitely based on past performance, not looking favored in the S and D, but now after seeing them go at it that first time, that's the one that got them their start. I think... This might go the Saints' way. I think we might see a 3-2 victory for the Saints. Here. I have to agree with you. Saints probably riding a very, very nice adrenaline rush after winning that fourth map. And on the flip side, their opponents going to be a little bit upset. They couldn't close out this series. Just there, four points away. One or two uh, kills and plays away from really taking it all home. So... They're going to be pretty upset with that, but they have to refocus. All players have to calm down and get back to their strength, uh, get away from their weaknesses, and uh, play good Call of Duty. Yeah, for sure. They have to really dig deep here. It's two games to two games, just all down to this one. And I am nervous for both teams. <laughs> you know, you've done so much work to get here to the playoffs. Now it's single elimination here in the lower bracket. You're just climbing your way out of here. You've done so much work. You don't want it to end here, especially with how close this is. I think either team can take it here. And with the Saints starting out on attack, California State is going to have to play perfectly here. Yeah, let's see how the Saints choose to play the attack. It looks like a four stack onto this A site. Let's see if we can find the first couple of round shots coming through everywhere. Skies KC living on 9 HP. Dylan in a very, very dangerous spot. Definitely a spot that the Saints are going to check inside. They're going to go for the swing there. But it wasn't even get to get, able to get any information. Does go down very, very early on. Now it's going to be hard for the Saints to push in here. Okay, B knows that Dylan's laying down in that corner. Saints have done their research to say the least. Still not going to get the plant down just yet. Priestley waiting for someone from California State to make a mistake. It's a nice little position coming out for Torment. He has to be careful here. Does get spot out by one and goes down. A great start for the Saints. They should be looking to get this plant down in this round. Should be going in their favor. Yeah, it should be going their way right now. They have bomb. They haven't done the plant just yet to keep the holistic guessing. Oh and wow, are you finds one? Now it's a 2v1 situation. They're collapsing in on KB. KB finds oh. one. KB finds two. It clutches out the round for the Saints. KB with an in, 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 extremely important <laughs> 1v2 there. They thought that he was on the bomb planting, so they chose to rush in, but KB finding the perfect angle there. Able to get a double kill, and his third kill of the round is Saints. Able to take the first round. A great start for them in the SND. Let's see if they can continue the momentum. Yeah, they have the momentum right now, and now it's up to California State to have an even better attacking round. State, though, keeping things competitive that round. Almost brought it back there. Just a little bit too much aggression cost them the round. Yeah, I mean, aggression or just a great play from KB, I'd say. Yes. Most people would just plant it there and just try and play the 1v2 after that. But KB, even with no real time on the clock, went for the, the kills, went for a great, great play. And that's the plays the Saints are going to need to win this map. But it looks like California State are going to get full control of mid here and might get the plant down onto B very, very quickly. State here trying to clear that one out. Back over. California State does get the early plant here over on B. And now with everybody up, this is going to be a hectic post plant. It's going to be a hectic post plant to say the least. No kills going down yet and Saints have to go quickly. Dylan does get played too aggressively. Goes down there. Are you going to fall down as well? Saints, beautiful start to the round for them. KB going to find one as well as Priest is going to pick that one up. It's going to be all up to Torment here in the 1v4. Will be going down another clean round from the Saints as they take the 2-0 advantage. Now going forward. If they win this one out in a clean sweep, I will never doubt the Saints <laughs> again. I'll never say SND is their weakest link. They're proving me wrong time after time after time. And now things are looking up for them. Now it's back on the defense for California to see to try and make this half competitive. Yeah, Saints have to not look, uh, not look to get too excited here. Stuff to stay composed and. Finish out this map. We've seen them have some big leads in SND and just throw them away after one bad round. So 
Let's see what they're going to choose to go with here on the attack. Looks like they, they're going to go towards that B site push this time. Not going to go for that A site as the defense is able to rear a little bit. California will get hit by a double stun through that trophy system. And Slayer falling to 14 HP, but is able to stay alive. Nades coming out from both sides. Random with a big one. And Sky's KC is going to get taken down first from K by KB. Beautiful shot from the side. Is now Saints going to look to get on to the side. Can they can't get the plant down early? Dylan is raiding around the corner. Corner here. Are they going to be able to find any picks there? Dylan actually will pick up Priestley. That was a bomb planter as well. And he finds a second onto Brandon Dylan getting made with murder in broad daylight. They're finding a couple as now Saints in the 2v3 have a bit of a uh, throw up on what to do. Do they go for the plant here on 2v3? Do they need to find a kill first? They're trying to figure it out right now. Torment going to be able to find some shots in the back. We'll slow down the Saints. Push for a little bit, about 35 seconds. Saints need to make their, up quickly. Make their mind up quickly. Yeah, they need to make their mind up quick. They're burning a lot of time here. And now with the 2v3 scenario, it's not looking great right now. They're just playing for picks here so they can try and get this to an even point. But now it looks like they're about to lose another member. And they do as Torment gets one. They do manage to get the plant down. So... Plays the post plan perfectly, which right. it doesn't go the way. It's going to be defused by California State. Now it's two to one. And it looked uh, good there for the Saints to start off. They found the opening pick, but California in the 3v4 played the defense flawlessly. And now they get their first round of the game. A good round for them, an important one for them, because if Saints took that one, they could have just swept them 6 0. But now there's going to be a lot more nerves on the line as they're going to look to tie the game up at two a piece. Let's see what Saints decide to do on the uh, on the defensive side. California has liked this B side a little bit more so far. Haven't really pushed that A side too much where Saints have kind of been the opposite. Yeah, the Saints not loving that B side, but you know, we'll see if California will be able to get the plan down and try and make this one. They got the plan down last time without a hitch, but the Saints put the post plan perfectly. Yep, and KB holding that one there as he's going to have to find some shots here. California moving S2 there towards the middle. They don't really want to take any 1v1s where they have the numbers advantages. KB is going to get a bit of backup. A smoke grenade actually going to drop down. They're going to look to get this plant down, but that's a huge, huge pick from KB. The plant is down, but Dylan we're gonna fall down. If the Saints just hop on this bomb, they're gonna be fine. The defuse, Torment gonna go down. The defuse is coming through. Are you cannot see whoever's on the bomb? The Saints gonna actually get off. They're gonna look to find the final kill here. Priestley gonna go down. KB finds the trade. Beautiful retake again from the Saints as they take the 3 1 lead. Yeah, if they just keep playing this retake, I don't see a situation in which California could win here. They're just playing the defense perfectly right now. And it's a very unusual way of playing the defense. We usually don't see someone just give up the site completely. Play stacked right behind. Don't play the clearance. Play the close angles. Very unique gameplay style from the Saints, but it's working per perfectly. Absolutely. I have to agree with you, Saints. Playing on top of their game now, California need to switch up something drastically on that attacking side because they keep going B and playing the retake. It looks like Saints just have the advantage there. Saints going to go towards that B site themselves this time. Let's see what they're able to do last time. Not able to find anything. Torment going to see that nade coming, but still going to get taken down half his HP. Dylan, though, going to find the first pick on Tinslayer. That's a crucial one. Brandon next to his teammate there. KB falls as well. So now it's a 4v2 for California, but the trade comes down onto Sky's KC. Now Saints are a uh, man behind. Going to have to find a miracle here to win this round. Yeah, they're going to have to try and find a miracle, but we've seen them do crazier things before. Now we're seeing California on the prowl, just trying to find where these bomb holders are. Now their bomb plant is going to go down for the Saints. They hear the oh, signal. There it is. Now they're moving in. Torment gets one. Priestley going for a mad dash here. Last man standing. Going to try to turn this around. Doesn't find the pick. And now California State bringing this two to three. Yet again on the defense. California this time able to play the post plant well onto the B side. As they're going to be able to take uh, the round back for themselves. Now it's kind of back and forth, back and forth. Let's see if California can string a few rounds together. If Saints can continue to expand their lead. Yeah, this is going to come down to if California can win this next pack and not fall for the post-plant trickiness of the Saints. They might be able to even this one out 3-3. Three to three. Looking like a much more competitive S&D here. Yeah, without a doubt. I would love to see California maybe go for an A push as this B push has just has not been their thing. 
maybe they haven't practiced the A push too much, but I feel like you have to th change something up, and I think finally, looks like they might take some control of that A site, but yeah, it looks like all four members gonna go there, but this time Saints, gonna have a couple there ready on the defense, and Slayer, gonna have a trade, a little trade there, Priestly, gonna find some shots, but not gonna find any kills as California have multiple members on the HP, and Slayer, picking the absolute worst time to throw out that nade, but still somehow gonna survive with his life, as all 4v4, all hell breaking loose here on this A side, it looks like California gonna look to play for the push, as if they back up here, Brandon is in a prime position to find some kills, Dylan gonna find the first pick onto, and Slayer, the trade comes through onto Torment, can the plant come through, it's coming down right now, now it's gonna be 40 seconds for Saints to play retake and it's very very good positioning here from california kb gonna go for a crucial peak at the top there's gonna find that kill onto dylan is gonna drop down behind the stairs as a couple saints gonna push out mid here should be able to pinch from both sides let's see how they decide to play kb not gonna drop down just has to stay alive there and that's a 3 one against ru they're gonna be able to find the pick and yet again they're gonna be able to find the defuse the attacks from california state are just not going their way as the saints take the lead once again four to two california state once again has to play the defense perfectly as they have been to try and keep themselves in this game. Yeah, without a doubt. What do you think they can do differently? Uh, obviously, on the defense, they've been very strong, but on the attack, can't find anything. What would you? What would you? What do you think they can do to switch things up? I think they're being very safe on the attack, but they're just giving the Saints a little bit too much time to rotate into a perfect position. And then once they get the bomb down. I think the nerves are just a little bit too high there and they start doing some crazy moves as they know the Saints are going to move very quickly and very fast and Saints just have that element of fear on their side. That's a good way to put it, but defensively, California has been pretty solid. There are only two rounds coming way of defense. It's going to be an A push coming out for the Saints. It looked so good for them in the opening round and huge, huge stuns there. KB knows he has that SMG, will go around the corner and pick that one up. That's a great opening pick for them as the plant goes down immediately. Saints going to have to play post plant here for 40 seconds to take this round, but Enslea going to drop. The trade comes out though. KB going to be able to find one 3v1 scenario all up to RU here and has to find this clutch to keep their hopes alive here. If Saints go 5-2, it's going to be a little bit too much to conquer here. Does find an opening pick onto Priestley, but only 24 seconds, seven and a half to defuse. It's going to be nearly impossible in the 1v2 scenario to take this one back. And I think everyone knows that RU though has to give it his best. 15 seconds and counting. It's going to be so hard to find two kills within that span. Saints get the double peak, take the five to lead and put themselves on match point. And now California State needs the perfect run, but I just don't see it happening at this point. Maybe if they're even three, no five, they can maybe do it. But doing over half the amount of points you need to win flawlessly is too much of a tall order with how close this is. So now, going into this next match, I believe the Saints might be looking to close this one out. Yeah, considering California has not won a single round on attack, I would say their hopes right now aren't looking too good, but nothing is ever impossible. So let's see what they decide to do on the attack. Here they are on the attack. Their back is up against the wall. A single one hasn't gone their way, but now it's now or never. Maybe the coin flip oh. has gone their way. And with a grenade like that, that might be what they need to turn things around here. It's 3v4. Bomb is going down. He knows where he's running from. And they get another kill and another. And now it's down to a 1v4 for Brandon. They're turning things around at their last dire moment. But Brandon, look at me, the clutch king finds one out of nowhere. Brandon gonna have to pull off the impossible for the win here. Let's see if he's able to do so. It's gonna be one right around this corner to the right here. Does he have any idea? I don't think he does. We'll go for the far side flank. I think there's just not enough time. Playing it a bit too slowly, Brandon, but any wrong step does result in your death. So they're gonna spot him out. Torment gonna go for the swing there. Just playing with him. They know he can't really clutch this round up. Should get shot in the back. No, nobody behind him actually. They're gonna chase him down. Now they're behind him. Another round going over to the side of California State as they creep a little bit closer to the Saints, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work to do. I think it's a possibility that they might be able to tie this one out. Sure, they play the defense very well. Maybe they do get another attacking round in here, but I think after so many rounds, it's going to flip back over to the Saints' way. That's just my prediction here. But let's see if California will maintain their stalwart defense here. They've been doing it so well so far. Let's see if they can get one more point on the board. Yeah, all they need is one, and that's definitely in their heads. Just play one good round, guys.
and we get to face off against New Bernie College. So let's see if there's going to be the round the nade is good. Next to the bomb, but the trophy systems are important from uh, the Saints here. They're going to look to take a, a but look at the flanks coming out from California. They're finally switched up their strategy a little bit, sending both Skies, KC and Dylan on a giga flank here. I don't think Saints will have any idea that this is the case. Let's see if they can find a kill. A little bit of trigger discipline needed. Dylan's going to be able to find the first. Skies, KC on the flank though does fall down, which lets Saints know that there's one more flanker behind them. KP's going to be able to pick that one up, but doesn't get carried out by the grenade. The plant's coming down from Priestley. 2v2 situation as Saints look to close out the map. 2v2 situation. Saints getting the bomb down. Looking to close this one out. It's all on the line for California State. We have yet to see a defuse from them in quite some time. So let's see if they're able to do this right here. Both the Saints in this garage. We're going to peek out. Take out one. It's a 1v2 situation for Torment. Finds one, can't find the other. And that is the Saints advancing in this lower bracket moving on into round two against Newberry. A very, very close series, but still far from getting the job done. They win the series, but they have one more to play against New Bernie College, who did beat Akron. And Akron is one team that has given the Saints a little bit of trouble in the past. So it's still going to be a lot of Call of Duty for tonight. But this series was a very, very exciting one. Five maps coming down to the wire, especially in that hardpoint game. Have to give Saints a bit of the clutch gene there. Winning by four points was a crucial part of that victory. And they were able to pull off the 2-1 comeback, take, them, take the game 3-2, and move on to the next round. Yeah, definitely. It was an amazing showing from the Saints, an amazing showing from University of California as well. They did an amazing job at keeping it so competitive with the Saints. But the Saints, when their backs were up against the wall, when it mattered most, they clutched in and they clutched it up. Yeah, probably going to be... Like a little bit break for our players. There's going to be a game coming up basically as soon as we can. The other match has finished. So we're going to throw it to a quick break as well. But we should be back in a few minutes with our next matchup.